What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this one, I wanted to talk about what was probably the most unique offense in the Madden Classic. And that came from Madster Gamer. He made a run all the way to the Final Four where he eventually lost to uh, the soon-to-be winner of the Madden Classic, Skimbo. Uh, but he ran a very, very unique offense out of the Patriots playbook, which was obviously the most popular playbook at the tournament. But he ran a formation in Gun Y Off Trips Pats, also known as U Trips. Uh, that not a lot of other people ever even went to and and he based his entire offense really out of this formation so it was very unique very cool now he averaged a little over five yards of play which was definitely on the lower end of the spectrum but when you compare that to everybody else who you know for example the final four competitors everybody else ran a gun bunch style of offense and that offense really revolves around you know deep routes such as posts and corners and stuff like that that opens up your underneath routes and allows you to get guys in space whereas Matster's offense I feel was more centered around almost misdirection in the passing game he often motioned guys across the formation had a lot of different cute unique route combinations and um, really thrived on methodically driving the ball down the field on his opponent converting in big down and distance situations and making his living that way so it was really really unique uh, really cool to watch um, he became a tournament favorite because of his unique offense. Everybody else was running Gun Bunch. And so I just want to talk about it a little bit here. So right here, this first example of, of his uniqueness here is going to be third and eight in his Musafa Jones matchup. I think it was in the round of 16. And so he's in a third and eight situation. You're going to see Musafa comes out in the standard. You know, you see the nickel normal pinch line, pinch backers. He's hovering over the between the right guard and right tackle. And Master is going to go with... What I believe to be a tight end whip setup, but it's it's really a unique setup in the fact that what you can see here is off the left side of the screen, Musafa is going to come with a blitz. And now this is a setup that you don't really expect someone to run this on third and eight. On third and eight, you're probably looking uh, for somebody to be focusing down the field on like a post route, a deep cross, and trying to go with some type of high low over the middle of the field. Well, Matster goes with a completely different kind of setup. He does have a post route as probably a last ditch option here. He's going to be cutting over the middle of the field. I believe that's AJ Green. But his primary route combo is his motioned over receiver right here, Giovanni Bernard, going into the flat. And then he's got Mark Walton coming out of the backfield on a wheel route. So he basically creates a makeshift screen on the left side of the formation. A very unique play call on a third and eight situation uh, where, like I said, a lot of people would not be expecting this. He actually dials it up perfectly because Musafa happens to send uh, that left side cornerback on a blitz, resulting in even less defenders out there to defend this. And so it was really a beautiful play call for Matster here. He's going to identify it immediately, throw the wheel route. He gets Mark Walton and notice how it looks like, okay, Geo didn't block anybody here. So it looks like this was a wasted guy. But if you notice how Musafa has to click on to Drake or Patrick and go to the inside, he can't try and funnel it to the outside because he's going to run into Geo Bernard. So he has to click on, try to cut inside of the blocker and try to make a play. And that's going to allow Mark Walton to go ahead, run to the outside, use Bernard. Even though Bernard doesn't block anybody, he still got in the way and altered the path that Musafa had to take once he clicked on. And so that lets Walton get the edge, get up the sideline, and end up picking up 20 yards there. So a very unique play call in that scenario from Master. So later in that same game now, 17-17, midway through the fourth quarter, you're going to kind of see how Master gets his offense to flow together. So you see Musafa, same setup on defense with the nickel normal showing the pressure off the left side, hovering on the right, and then Master's going to go... And he's going to motion across another receiver. This time it's a different receiver. It's not Joe Bernard. This time it's AJ Green motioning across uh, to the left side of the field. But this is how he kind of made everything look very similar based on who he was motioning. It was all the right to left motion. And really it kept the defense off guard as to kind of what type of route combo he was going to go with after using that motion. So AJ Green comes across to the left side here. He snaps it once he gets to the outside. And you see the pressure comes and you see initially Musafa has to react to the left side motion so he was hovering over the right guard and you see musafa's attention immediately go to that motion guy and saying okay based off of what he's running is what the play is going to be so his attention is immediately drawn to the guy who's motioning now aj green ends up motioning over to the left only to run a drag back across to the right side of the field now 
with all this window dressing and misdirection, that's why I kind of call it misdirection, is because he's constantly motioning guys and having them run different route combos and keeping the opponent's user defender off guard. In this case, Matt goes with a max protect, something you see a lot of out of like Gun Bunch. He blocks seven, sends three out on routes, and what he's got, he's got AJ Green dragging underneath, he's got John Ross clearing out, and it's curl flats out of this Gun Y off trips pats. And you're going to have a backside post route coming over the middle of the field by Gio Bernard. And so everything really flows very well together here. It's it's a disguise on the classic high-low. It's been the best route combo in Madden for the past two or three years now. You know, you saw it a lot when Dig Halfback Out was in the game. You saw it a lot with Mesh Post and stuff like that. You see it a lot this year with Pat Sale. And so uh, it, it's just... It's all about window dressing, even though it's a concept that everybody knows and everybody runs, it's window dressing it to where your opponent can't just key in on it. And so with Musafa's attention down on the underneath drag, there's no way he can recover back to the post route. Matster is flushed out the pocket, but he's able to set his feet, throw the ball, get an aggressive catch to come back to the ball with Gio Bernard and pick up a big gain and put him on Musafa's side of the field. So Matt really played super well, in my opinion, on offense, showed a very unique approach to the game. Along with using the Bengals, which right here, it is Bengals versus Bengals, but after this, I think him and Musafa were the only two people I saw using the Bengals, and then once Matt got into the top eight, I believe everybody else was using either the Chiefs, most people used the Chiefs, or the Falcons, so it was a combination of the unique team selection along with the unique offense. Uh, it was a very good showing, in my opinion, from Matt, a lot of fun to watch him. Also, uh... Don't forget, he does have his own YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link that down below along with his Twitter. He puts out great content, puts out tips for Mutt, puts out tips for gameplay. So he's a really great follow, really, really intelligent, and uh, one of the, the best players year in and year out. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, take it easy.